said, there is no God, knows anything about God, and understands anything about God. You false apostle saying that there is no God when you lie about God because you lying about God's truth. And everyone who comes to, to church sits there, any athe atheist or evolutionist or someone who doesn't know God comes from outside inside the church and listens to a fool who doesn't make no sense when he talks about God, that person just walks out out of the church and never comes back. Because how can he believe in God when he listens to lies about God? So you are the one when you're lying about God, you're saying there is no true God. Because when you're lying about God, you're representing Satan. Not true God. I mean. You've done it ignorantly. Ignorantly. That's right. Excellent. Another example of blasphemy. Mm -hmm. The Bible is a lie. The Bible is a lie. Well, when you lie about the Bible, you saying the Bible is a lie. When you quote X2 and you lie about X238. You lie about, about X24, you lie about all those tongues which false apostles were preaching in other tongues to all these people who came from all other nations. You pervert all these scriptures. You saying that the Bible is a lie because you bring up your own beliefs. So you're not, you're preaching another gospel. When the Bible says one thing, and you pervert this thing, and you tell different beliefs, you're preaching another gospel. You are cursed by God. In Matthew 25, 41, depart from me, you're cursed. Who's cursed? Those who, the ones who preach other gospel. Depart from me, you curse it into everlasting fire. Prepare for the devil and his angels. Because devil and the all fallen angels, and the devil is a fallen angel, they don't believe what God says. They're opposite what God says. Like all those false teachers and preachers and false apostles. I mean. Why? Who you say was a lie? God. God. That's right. Now, God says the truth. You, the one, is a liar. He says and speaks opposite what God says. In written, the word is God. That's right. Did you hear blasphemy just now? He just blasphemed right there. He said that some of the intelligence of God lies. This is unbelievable, eh? So the Bible is the Word of God. And He just told you that only in the Bible, in the Holy Scriptures, some of the intelligence of God lies. Some of it. So, there's another blasphemy from this fourth apostle just right there. Blasphemy against the Holy Ghost. See the devil, how devil operates? That's right. Against 
blasphemy against the God, Holy Ghost when two men get married. What's two men got to do with the Bible? I had to go to the city the other day and I decided to catch a bus. So I went to the bus stop and I saw there two men at the bus stop kissing each other. I approached them and said, what are you doing? They stopped kissing and said, well, we would just do our own stuff. I said, what stuff? They said, well, we're guys. And I said to them, you blaspheme the Holy Ghost. They both of them went like this. And one of them says, we didn't even see or hear where there be any Holy Ghost. And I said to them, what baptism you are baptized? in. And another one said, baptism of guy and lesbian. And I asked them, who baptized, baptized you? And one of them said, Barack Obama. And Buzz just pulled over, I jumped in the bus, they still were sitting there. So what's, what two men have anything to do with the blasphemy? Do they speak against the Holy Ghost? Do they open the Bible? I never saw them holding a Bible on the bus stop. What are you talking about? iTunes triple I seven. That's right. Blasphemy is not just done with the mouth. That's right. And also can be done with the body. With the body. Another lie. Let's open and read Matthew 12.32. And whosoever speaketh a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But whosoever speaketh against the Holy Ghost, it shall not be forgiven him. Speaketh. What are you talking about body? Another blasphemy. He adds to the scripture. He adds to this verse. And Revelation 22, 19 says, He will add or take it away your eternal life will be taken away from you. You don't add anything. The verse says, speak it. Now you're adding body, flesh, your fleshy carnal suicidal blasphemer. You know there's two kinds of suicide. Like he said, there's two kinds of blasphemy, there's two, uh, two kinds of suicide. Fleshy suicide and spiritual suicide. Matthew 10, Matthew 10, 28. You'll be very informed today. Matthew 10, 28. And fear not them which kill the body but are not able to kill the soul. Flesh is suicide. But rather fear him which is able to destroy boy's soul and body in hell.
That's a spiritual suicide. But rather fear Him. Who is Him? The Lord Jesus Christ. He is ju uh, judge of all things. Which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Only the Lord Jesus Christ is able. No one else is able. Don't give me any other religions. With all other gods. None of them is able. Only one is able. The Lord Jesus Christ. And fear not them which kill the body. But are not able to kill the soul. That's a fleshy suicide. I went to heal some. Uh, sorry. Anyway, I went, <laughs> I went to charismatic church. I went there with the mission. God gave me a job to do. To reveal the truth to them. So they hide the truth. And they sent bouncers and police on me. Bouncers could have, you know, take me to the uh, downstairs, somewhere, cool room or anywhere and just bash me to death. I wasn't scared of that. That charismatic church that they've got all the contacts with the world, they've got all the co contacts with the government, all the contacts with the media, anything I say, it all comes on on TV and radio, anything I say, the presidents talk about it, anything I say, presidents follow me, anything I say, the whole world follows me. And after this message, the, the world will follow me. So I wasn't fearing them. Police, when they called the police, police could have come and shoot me there on the spot. I wasn't fearing that. They'll shoot, they kill my body, but that don't, they're not going to kill my soul. Soul is eternal. Soul belongs to God. But rather fear Him. That's the fear I have inside of me. I fear God more than anything else. Which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. You suicidal blasphemy of false apostles, you playing with that. You don't have a fear of God. All those charismatics I witness to, they don't have the fear of God. They just follow their false beliefs from the beginning how they started. Because They, they fear that there's no more charismatic church, that they go, go somewhere else, but there's nowhere to go. Any, any church you go, you all hear blasphemy, they, you, you all hear liars. They're all, they're, all, they're all perverted. Charismatic, Pentecostals, fourth, uh, 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 apostolic churches, the uh, first... Uh, uh, Baptist churches, the independent Baptist churches, the Union Baptist churches, they're all Bible perverts. They're all blasphemous. One Corinthians. One Corinthians thirteen verse three. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, what's that example of suicide? God says here, and Apostle Paul writes it down, Although I give my body to be burned, if I'll commit suicide in the fire, and have no charity, it profits, uh, profits me nothing. 
So giving all your, all your goods to the poor, that's nothing. What about I'll sell all my stuff and I'll go give uh, uh, all my goods to the poor? All those homeless people in, in, the, in the city, there's plenty of them. So I'll give all my goods to the poor, I'll become poor. I'll have nothing. So there, there's no, no, no one else will give me something, I'll become poor and I'll go ask back my goods to those poor people, they're not going to give me back, they say, no, it's, it's, it's ours, we're not giving you, get out of here. So I'll become poor and then I'll feel like burning myself, committing suicide, there's, there's nothing to live for, I'm talking in the fleshy way, like those fleshy, you know, outside people thinking. You've got nothing, so it's time to, you know, to commit suicide. You don't have anything, there's nothing to live for. Nobody loves you, your wife will leave you, kids will leave you, you've got nothing. Who needs you with an empty pocket? And have no charity. It profits me nothing. So now we'll, uh, we'll think about the spiritual side of this verse. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, all my goods is here. This is goods. The truth of God. I'm telling you, false apostle, about the truth of God. I bestow my goods from my spirit, from my knowledge, from my wisdom which God gave me. I bestow my goods to you. So you get fed in faith. So you, you are the poor one. You're the poorest real estate there is. You have no money. You have no truth. You have nothing. Without truth you've got nothing. So I'm giving my goods so I don't burn, eternal, hellfire, like a fire, eternal. I got to do the work for the Lord. The Lord gave me some work to do. I have to do it. So for me to store my treasures in heaven, This is what, what I'm doing now, this is my wealth, heavenly wealth, and I'm making you rich, I'm making all these rock stars, movie stars and the rest of them who's going to make songs and uh, do whatever they do with what I'm saying, making them rich and I'm making you rich, false apostle, and all the rest of you. And have no charity. Charity, that's loving your brother. And loving your brother is telling the truth about God. Not telling lies, that's not loving bro your brother. That's hiding your brother. When you stand there, false apostle, and you're lying to your congregation, you're hiding your congregation. You're the most hateful man on earth for lying about God. It profits me nothing. You don't have any profit. You're the poorest, as I said, from them all. There's an, in congregation, the, the, the poorest man comes, he's richer, 100 times richer than you are, standing there in the pulpit and lying, lying to your congregation. I mean, so what's here says, uh, God says, and so I give my body to be burned, suicide, fleshy suicide. And if you put in the spiritual sense, spiritual suicide. So you false apostles, Agent Triple O Seven, you the spiritual suicidal blasphemer. I mean, to make it better. Right. 
on that bus stop they, don't, they, they didn't tell me anything about God and they, they didn't say from their mouth they didn't speak that God is a liar so what are you talking about here Romans chapter 1, verse 25. Who changed the truth of God into, what? into a lie. Blasphemy. Blasphemy. They didn't change nothing. You're the one who's changing. Suicidal blasphemer. Romans 1.25 He changed the truth of God into a lie. Only those changing truth of God into a lie who's standing in the pulpit in churches holding their Bibles in their hands and they speak about God and if they lie about God they are the ones who are changing the truth of God into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the Creator and worship and serve the creature when you change the truth of God into a lie, you don't worship true God. You worship Satan. Satan is a creature. So by changing the truth into a lie, you worship Satan plus the congregation which you speak to. If they believe your lies, they, they don't worship the true God. They worship the creature, creature is an idol, you, fourth apostle, you are the idol, which telling them a lies, so they believe not in God, in true God and God's truth, they believe in you, and they start worshipping you, because they believe in your lies. When Catholics, all the Catholics go to a church, they're listening to their Pope, they're worshipping Pope. Because every time Pope opened his mouth, he lies about God. When people go to those charismatic churches, they listen to their pastors and they believe pastors lies, they worship that pastor. They not worship the true God, they worship lies which pastor says. And they believe those lies. So it turns to their worship turns to worshiping Satan because you represent Satan but, but evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse deceiving and being deceived but evil men and seducers you seducing your congregation you seducing people who listen to you you seducing them to your lies I mean When I marry my wife, I don't serve her. We both serve each other. But that's marriage. What are you talking about? You drunkard bum? You know, God, God says, be sober. God says, don't be drunk with the filthy liquor. You suicidal blasphemer, not just talking like a drunk owning the liquor store, you're talking like you owning the drug factory.
When you start lying about God, you go on in every way. You, you are, you are the devil. Ye of the devil, uh, J uh, John 8, 44. Ye of your father the devil, and la lust of your father ye will do. Lust, remember that word. Lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abide not in the truth, because there is no, there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. Lie from the beginning. That's a serpent from the beginning lied to Adam uh, and Eve. He lied to Eve from the beginning, that serpent. And you are father, ye of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. Lust of your father. That satanic lust, that satanic lies. You are, you, you are, once, once you're into these uh, false doctrines, once you uh, start preaching another, another gospel, that's it, that's it, you're gone. And you, you're not a human, you, you're an animal. And we'll get to that later. That's what he's doing. That's what he's doing. He's giving that honor to the flesh. That's right. And saying, God is alive. That's right. Okay, he only um, read it out to you, Romans 1, 25. Let's start from 21. Because that, when they knew, when they knew God, because that when they knew God, so that's church people. That's 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 pastors and all all the deacons and elders. That that's a church. Because when they they that uh, plural knew God, they they glorified Him not as God. When you change the truth into a lie, you're not, you're not glorifying God as God. Neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Foolish heart. Now God, calling you a fool, false apostle, because... Your heart is darkened. You know, you, you're African, you're all black. But now, you're dark as a chimney. All inside the chimney, it's all black. When did last time you had a shower? See, no matter how many times you'll have shower, to me, you, you're still dirty. But, but this... God speaks about your heart, your heart darkened. That's the worst thing you can have. The worst thing you become a chimney. And you are a chimney. You are black on the outside and you are black on the inside. I mean. Professing themselves to be wise, they become fools. By looking at this uh, fourth apostle, he sounds very wise to many people. That's why he still has some people in his congregation, because they, they, they come, they come, they, they listen, they think he's wise. So he's professing to be wise, but by lying, changing the truth, of God into a lie, you become fool. And there's a reason for me to call you a fool. That's why you charismatic person who I called you a fool, you're not gonna get back to me and telling me that I'm in danger of eternal fire by calling you a fool. Because I have a reason to call you a fool. I mean, verse 23, and change the glory of the uncorruptible God. Uncorruptible 
God. 1 Timothy 1.17 1 Timothy 117 Now unto the King eternal immortal invisible the only wise God see the blasphemy this false apostle was telling earlier only some of the truth of God. So the Bible, he was saying that not, not the whole wisdom of God, only some of it. But God says in 1, Tim uh, 1 Timothy 1.17 the only wise God there's no other wise gods. There's no other religions. Don't give me all this, you know. Muslims and Buddhists and uh, all other, any other religions. And in those, in those religions, in this uh, apostolic church, what's this? First, first, he, calls, he calls first apostolic church. So he claims to be part of the 12 apostles. Those 12 apostles chosen and the 12, number 12 cho chosen in uh, Acts chapter 1, he claiming to be part of it. It's already chosen, the 12 complete. You're not part of that. 